today we're going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. So let's see what's inside our box. Our Ziploc bags, the all-important strawberry. Our cold ethanol. We have our kitchen roll. Then we have what we call a pipette. This is known as a pipette bulb. Now the pipette bulb is used for sucking up and releasing the solution from the pipette. Next we have our extraction tube, our funnel. We have a skewer. The skewer is going to be used right at the very, very end. And finally, we have our extraction buffer. We're going to take our strawberry, okay? What we want to do with the strawberry is we actually want to remove the leaves. We're now left with our de-hulled strawberry. What we're going to do is we're going to open our bag. We're going to pop our strawberry in our bag. Next, very importantly, we're going to make sure that we zip our bag back up. Next, we're going to take the strawberry. We are going to crush it with our hands. All you need to do is to crush it so that it looks like that. What we're doing there is we're starting the process of extracting the DNA. In order to open up the nucleus and get that DNA out, we're going to have to use our extraction buffer. We need 10 milliliters of extraction buffer. So I'm going to take the pipette bulb that we talked about earlier on, and I've just placed it onto a pipette. There are three buttons that you will see here, and you need to do them in the right order, otherwise you're going to end up in a bit of a pickle. First of all, we want to expel the air by pressing the top button and squeezing the bulb. Let go of the button and the air will remain expelled. This is what's going to suck the extraction buffer up into the pipette. So we put the pipette in. We now press the second button and you'll see that the extraction buffer is sucked up. We're going to press the final button. If we press any of the other buttons, it will go disastrously wrong. So what we want to do is press that final button and that allows the extraction buffer, the 10 mils of extraction buffer that we have sucked up into that pipette to be released into our tube. We're now going to add the contents of this to our bag. So unzip the bag, open the bag, take your extraction buffer and pour into the bag. Remember, zip that bag back up. What we're going to do now is we are going to massage this very gently. We don't need to really, really bash this around. That's what you end up with. You end up with some liquid, you end up with our strawberry gunk, if you like, the debris, the cell debris, the cell wall debris, but we have a solution. And the solution that's surrounding the cell debris and the strawberry debris will contain our DNA. What we need to do now is separate all of this chunky cell wall debris and seeds and all of that other stuff that's in there. The way that we do that is by using our funnel and our kitchen roll. In order to turn our humble kitchen roll into a filter paper, we're going to do a little bit of basic origami. We're going to fold it in half corner to corner and then we're going to fold it in half corner to corner again. So we end up with a triangle. What I'm going to do then is open it out so that I have a pocket. This is then placed so we've now made a filter, the funnel, and we're going to use the tube. Take the bag, open the bag. We're now going to pour the contents of the bag into the tube. And what we're going to do now is we're going to allow that to flow through, through gravity. And once we get our solution, we'll then move on to the final piece. We now have our tube with our strawberry debris in there. We don't need, we, we don't need this now. This is going to be discarded. I'm just going to put this over here. We now have our tube. So what we need to do now, we need to get the DNA that's in solution, we need to get it to come out of solution. So this DNA is going to stay in that solution all day long, not interested in coming out of solution. It's there, we can't see it, we want to get it out of solution. The way that we do that is we take ice cold ethanol. If I add ethanol and layer it, because it's less dense than water, on top of the strawberry extraction buffer that we have in this tube, where the two phases meet, and that's called an interface. Where the two phases meet, that DNA is going to try its level best to get away from the ethanol. And by doing that, it will fold itself up and it will come out of solution. So we're going to do that now. Again, take the pipette, use a different one this time because we don't want to contaminate the alcohol with the solution that we used earlier on. But we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. I've already squeezed out the bulb. I'm going to press the second button 
and pull up about 10 millilitres. You don't have to be massively accurate with this. And then what we're going to do very, very carefully, because I don't want these two solutions to mix. I want the ethanol that I have here to layer on top of the DNA solution with the strawberries in it. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to run it down the side, pressing that button that releases the ethanol. What you will see now is we have our DNA solution at the bottom, we have our ethanol on top. What we have now is what we call an interface, where the solution underneath meets the alcohol on top. That substance that looks a little bit like, I've heard it described as candy floss, looks a little bit like cotton perhaps maybe, that is DNA. That is DNA that's coming out of solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this skewer and I'm going to very carefully spool that DNA out of solution. And you can see that that gloopy white substance that I have on the end of my skewer is strawberry DNA. But there we are. We've extracted DNA from strawberry. You can see that on the end of my stick. As you see now, because I pulled that DNA away, even more DNA is being produced and I can keep spooling that pretty much all day long until all that DNA in that solution is out and on the end of my skewer. Thank you for watching and I hope you had a fun time. Mm -hmm.